What's up guys, HTG Brian here, and we're back with more LEGO Batman! This is level 13, Flight of the Bat Story! As you can see from down below, we got no achievements found in this video. However, we, uh, well, we don't get anything. <laughs> it's story! We're not going to get any of the collectibles or any of that stuff now. We're going to go ahead and show you how to get through here, showcase the cutscenes, of course, remove any of that audio that might be copyrighted, and of course, have some fun whilst doing it. Here we are in the Bat Cave. We're jumping for joy, ready to roll out. We're going to go ahead and head over to the far right side and hop in the old Bat Wing here target the third level flight of the bat and of course story is our only option so that's what we choose next up we get a little dossier on professor jonathan crane aka scarecrow take a quick read and we'll see you on the other side of the old cutscene And we're off! Now this level is actually sort of tricky. It does remind me a lot of the flying level in LEGO Star Wars, the complete saga. We won't go into full details because there is some differences, but I do feel like a template may have been reused here. Now this level will require the use of both vehicles. You're gonna have to toggle back and forth, which is not very common in the vehicle levels. Usually you only need one. But in this particular case, we're going to need the abilities of both vehicles, starting off with the Batwing, which we go ahead and revealed a little spot where we could pick up some what appear to be like proton torpedoes, hmm? And then we'll go ahead and blast away at that cannon there, which actually gave us access into the next area. So now we'll go ahead and go back to that uh, proton torpedo dispenser. I mean, that's that's basically what it is, right? I mean, it's it's technically a bomb, 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 bomb. But we won't get into technicalities. Uh, it just does remind me a lot of the old LEGO Star Wars game. Now, as we go ahead and make our way through this newly found gap, we're going to destroy pretty much everything in sight, including a new spot where we can pick up more bombs. And we're going to take out the old gun on the bridge here, which goes cattywampus and blows a big spot of the bridge out of the way, which we will need to use here in a hot second once we toggle over to the old... Well, wait, hold on, we got to watch Scarecrow bounce out first. He's so, so scared because, uh, well, we're doing work here, and uh, look at that. So he uh, escapes and turns on the old flames and prevents us from following. So we have to find a way to go ahead and stop that. So we're going to start off by going over in this left corner here and taking out both of the cannons, which are going to leave just this one standing building. Well, and of course, a bunch of choppas trying to stop us. We'll go ahead and take those out, continue to blast away at this centerpiece here. Eventually, it reveals that it's got a dispenser of its own. So we'll toggle over to the Batcopter, which Robin happens to be driving. And this time, we'll tow a bomb. Not... It's a little different. It's same thing, a little different. Precision is key here, though. As you can see, you got to get right through that gap. Otherwise, it'll hit the side of the bridge and blow up. Goal is to get it all the way over to this silver place here. It's a nice little tube. We'll take that tube out, and we are on to the next area, which we're going to have to kind of rinse and repeat the process we just did. Starting with the back wing, we're going to take out a few things and reveal a bomb dispenser. It's actually a bomb in tow dispenser, though, so we'll switch over to the old choppa. And this one we whip around, and we're going for that silver, and booyaka show! We have revealed another dispenser. This one happens to be for the Batwing, so switch back over. There are two guns preventing us from moving on here. And we'll go ahead and blast them both by targeting them with the pink arrows and hitting that B button. And we are out of here. To a quick little cutscene which introduces us to Scarecrow. Now this is actually really tricky and to be honest with you, I don't know how I got so lucky. I, I, it looks like I'm really good and I know what I'm doing here, but I assure you it was pure luck. The goal is to switch to the Batcopter, get close to Scarecrow, 
press the B button and hold it to pull him in tow. And once he is grappled in, toggle over to the bat wing and blast him by targeting him with one of those pink bombs. And look at that, I did it so fast I didn't even get to explain it all! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's how we roll around here. Level c -c -c complete. Free play on. Lock, 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 lock. All right. As you guys remember, this is story, so no collectibles found. However, we did unlock the Batwing and the Batcopter. So pretty sweet. Uh, lots more to unlock ahead of us, but uh, we got lots of levels left. So uh, we'll go ahead and count up our studdage here. A little short of the halfway point for our superhero status. And, of course, we'll go ahead and stack them up. Have we hit that half a mil yet? Ooh, it's going to be close, but guess what? Not quite yet. Hopefully, in the next video, we will raise over 50K. Uh, but it probably won't be a vehicle level, which means it'll be a little bit longer. But that's going to wrap it up for Level 13, Flight of the Bat. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to click that like button down below. Check us out on social media. HappyThumbsGaming.com is available for your viewing pleasure as well. And on that note, as always, until next time...